Welcome to South Dell Connect. My name is Doug, and I'm gonna explain a little bit about what South Dell Connect is all about. South Dell Connect is a secure website with information for people in fellowship or membership at South Dell Bible Chapel. You can get to the site from your computer, from your tablet, or from your phone. Information on it will include prayer items, small groups, information, announcements, and other things that will add over time. The church is encouraged to pray, and that's our initial focus here. The church is encouraged to pray both for individual needs, but also for the needs of the church. And in Acts 2.42, the verse says, they were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. We have an opportunity with technology to communicate quickly, securely, and effectively. When prayer requests are entered into this particular site, you'll be immediately alerted, provided that you've registered on the site with details about the prayer request in your email, including a link back to the site for more information. I'm going to show you how to get on this site, how to register, and most importantly, how to use this site. First, you go to the website itself, and the URL is sbclondon.xyz and you type that into your browser. In this particular case, I'm using a Microsoft browser, but you can use Chrome or Safari or other Firefox or other browsers to get to this particular site. All of them will work. So you put in sbclondon.xyz and you'll get into the site. You'll be immediately presented with a page similar to this. So uh, this is the title here, South Dell Connect, and uh, you'd be able to, first of all, you need to register on the site. So you come down here, click on register. And one of my favorite uh, cartoon characters is Barney Rubble. Uh, Barney, for those of you of my age demographic would know that uh, he was part of the Flintstones. So I'm going to put in Barney Rubble as my username. First name here is Barney, last name is Rubble. I'm gonna put in an email address, my email address, this will be bogus for now, and then uh, password uh, and confirm the password. And the password has to be a mixture of some uh, uppercase, lowercase characters and numbers. And then you would hit register. Now I'm already registered on the site, so I'm not going to register at this particular point in time. But you, this is how you would register. Make sure your email address is the email address that you want the notifications to go to. So I'm gonna go back to the home here and I'm going to put in my username, Barney Rubble. After I've registered and my password and click login and I'm going to get into the site. And once you're into the site, you'll see uh, that uh, you'll have access to the information. If you're not logged into the site, you're not gonna be able to see any of this. You're gonna get a prompt right away to, uh, to log into the site. So once you are on the site, then everything that's in the site is available to you. You'll see from the top, there's a menu bar and you'll be able to get to prayer items, small groups, announcements and bulletins. In this particular case, you can also see down here that some of that information is available here as well. The calendar of events we're going to be adding to in the, in, uh, the coming uh, weeks. So you, Here, let's start with prayer then. That's really the focus as we wanna start out here. We wanna uh, focus on the prayer side of this particular site. So if we click on this, we're going to see the prayer requests that are there. And you can see that there's a number of uh, prayer requests that have come in uh, to the site. All of this is test information, but uh, you can see some of these things uh, that are here that are prayer items. And we'd encourage people to regularly get onto the site, become aware of what the needs of the church are, and pray both as individuals and as a family and um, for the needs of, of the church. So here you can see the prayer request that uh, we should be praying for as a church. Then you would click here to, if you had a particular need, to uh, submit a prayer request to the list. So 
I'm going to click on that right now. I'm going to be presented with a page like this. I'm going to put in my email address and then a title for the prayer request. Pray for Barney who broke his, broke his or my leg. and then some details on it and then hit submit post and it's going to go into the site. I'm not going to submit that right now, but if you click on this, then immediately um, the information will be posted onto the site and available to everybody that's registered. And an email will go out saying that there's a prayer request that's out there uh, for people to look at and to, uh, to pray. Uh, just to, couple of comments on on submitting prayer requests um, please as much as possible use first names or initials respect confidentiality of people make sure that you've if you're putting someone down for prayer that they're aware of that and um, that they they have approved that the administrators of the site are able to go in and edit content as appropriate and, um, and, and we'll do that if, if there's anything that really should be modified. So we're now, um, we're on the site. We can, we can go to various areas of the site here. If we click here, we're back home. Here you can, you can change your password, do a password reset if necessary. You can also look at the prayer request, small group information. We're still loading that particular information up with the small groups for the fall and then announcements information. And you'll see things like uh, bulletins in there, other needs that perhaps exist within the church for help and, and uh, folks that will volunteer in different areas of the church. So uh, again, that's uh, that's a high level of how to get into the site, some of the things that are available. This will form a base moving forward of a lot of the information that we want to share generally to the church in a secured fashion. We'll be, um, over time, phasing out the emails that uh, Bob has been sending out so faithfully for many, many years. And we're going to start to move towards this as the base for uh, a lot of the prayer items and the communication that exists within the church. So we'd encourage everyone in the church to get signed up on SBC Connect.